Okay, so we finished up the module three, and this is where we come. Sorry, no, once we finish up module three, we come to the bottom of module four to submit module three, and then we're going to use our data from module three in our module four lab. Okay, so I'm going to download the template. And open that. I'm going to open my guide or download it and open that. And I'm going to go back and get that sheet that says analysis. Okay, so this is where we're going to fill in our data from last week and use it to calculate information for this week, and it's going to graph at the same time. Okay, so here I have my table from this week, and this is my data from last week, so I'm going to copy one of those columns. And we'll put it over here. All right, now one of the things that's real important is we did not do 10. I don't know why they had 10 in there because they didn't ask us to go that high. I guess it's in case you needed it, but delete the information that's in that section. And here we have a good view of what we're looking at. Your kinetic energy. Potential energy decreasing. Starts out high. Decreases till it hits the floor. Whereas the kinetic energy starts out low and builds up. And the total energy in the system okay now to finish that part I actually had to weigh my object and put in my height and the weight of my object and that allowed it to calculate these other areas And once I do that, I'm going to pull that graph and the chart. So all of this, copy all of that, and it's coming here on your data analysis sheet. This is where we had some kind of questions and we're trying to figure out what they really wanted to know because the final velocity should be zero. Okay, so if I take the square root of two times 9.8 times zero, which is the final height, I get zero. And if I look on my graph at the Final velocity on that one came in at 2.88 because it wasn't quite going down to the floor. Whereas if I take one of my sets of data that went further, let's see that.
and I will extend my formulas back down. And then you can see the final velocity getting closer to zero. And it's all based on like the height of your object. So if you've got a really thick object and it's not quite reaching the floor based on this, maybe you could change your initial height. Um, so like it said, 74.72. So I was using a pretty thick box at the time, so I could make this 745. It would closer match, and then this gets even closer to zero. Actually, I guess it's 747. Oh, that changed when I changed that. So, yeah, you just, just know that the difference there is because of the height of your object and where it actually sees it hitting the floor at. How about that? Yeah. All right. So then we take whatever that number we got was. 0.62 something like that and subtract it from zero um, but then when I'm dividing by zero I get zero so it really didn't make any sense because then I got division by zero so yeah go with the zero on that one Come down and answer your questions on the next sheet. And we're done with lab four, module four.